Nori Extra. Hello, this is Natasha, and I'm here with a special Alaskan edition of Story Nori. But first, here is something from one of our listeners from Talkeetna, which is a small town at the foot of a mountain in Alaska. Her name is Tavi, and she has her own radio show on the local station, KTNA. She presents the show with her dad, Charlie. And part of what they do is play out stories. Recently, she came to England to look for Bertie. After a long search, she found him at a secret hideaway, and we recorded their conversation. Well, I don't know if anyone has ever heard my voice before, but this is the true, real Bertie. And I'm sitting here with a very special guest, one of our loyalist listeners, Tevi from Tarkina. Tevi, can you tell us a little bit about Tarkina? Well, it's a pretty small town. Um, we're pretty far away from any big shops or anything, but it's pretty near to a mountain called Denali or Mount McKinley. Is it a volcano? No. Are there any bears? Yes. In the summer, there are a lot of bears. Now, you've travelled a long way, all the way to London. What are your impressions of London? It's way bigger than Tolkien, <laughs> definitely. And there's a lot more people than I'm used to. Devi, we're sitting here with Natasha. Uh, this is the first time you've met her. But uh, tell me, what do you know about Natasha and how long have you known about her? Like, I've known about her ever since I was, like, five. And how old are you now? Eight. She records stories for Story Nori. And when do you listen to them? All the time. <laughs> That's wonderful. Look, uh, normally we hear Natasha telling the stories, but Natasha, can you just tell me a little bit about yourself? How did you start telling stories? Oh, that's a very, very good question. Well, I started telling stories probably when I was very, very young, and uh, my dad always used to read stories to me. So I got a good listening ear from my dad. And my mum works in a shop, so she's always talking to people. <laughs> I often go back to my mum's shop and listen to her to talk to real people, like talk to an audience, you know? And which of the characters in the stories do you associate yourself with most? Do you identify most with? I like the Katie stories a lot. I also quite like Mary in The Secret Garden, which I'm reading at the moment. She's a very strong character. I ought to mention that at the time of recording, The Secret Garden hasn't yet been on the site, but it soon will. Tevi, have you anything you'd like to ask Natasha? Natasha, I wonder how you prepare for a story. Well, I read it a lot, and um, I always use a pencil and just mark it like you would a piece of homework and highlight important words. <laughs> These days, I'm very disciplined about trying to read it out loud. That's important. Sometimes when I see Natasha's notes, I wonder how she reads it at all, because she has scrawl all over the script, actually. And can you tell us a little bit about your radio programme? Well, I have a radio programme back in Tolkiena um, called Story No Amore, and we play some stories like from the Story Nori podcast and then we use some filler and some songs. And do you talk with your dad on the programme? Yeah. And your dad's name's Charlie, yeah? Well, Tevi, it's been a delight to meet you. Thank you very much for coming into Story Nori. We love to meet our listeners and it's so good of you to rebroadcast some of our stories in Alaska. As a message to radio stations around the world, we are very glad to let you use our stories if you ask us first. So do get in touch, Bertie at StoryNori.com. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye. And that was Tevi from Talkeetna, Alaska, talking to Bertie and me. And Tevi's mother brought me a present all the way from Talkeetna. It's a book of the stories of Native American folklore. So look out for some American stories at StoryNori.com. And at the end of this special Alaskan edition of Story Nori, from me, Natasha, bye-bye.